Actually, we bend too much, and then we end up bending those blunt edges back. There. That's the advantage of having everything at hand in a sample setup. Then I can bend it until it fits approximately, and then we will also let it come out. There it comes out neatly. Normally, we cut with scissors. We will do that ourselves once. Proper calibration. When you use this red calibration device, you need to push firmly. And then we will also achieve that torn edge without blades. We are going to do that. Make sure that the ear rings are not pushed up anymore. And eventually you will feel it. You will feel it when you come against the fitting. That is very important. So our press fittings, you need to ensure that you are always seated properly at the back of the fitting. You should feel that stop. I hold it back a bit from here. Then we actually have the bracket as a clamp to hold it in place. So you start like this, then you're happily in the right place, right? Like this. So, we are going to connect our blue pipe, our cold water pipe. Stevens, I will show you the difference between central heating and sanitary, but let's focus on a sanitary connection for now. We are going to connect those here. They will come together a little bit, as always. So we are going to push the main pipe a little to the side and one straight ahead. That will come out nicely. So. We are going to bend again once more in a similar manner, just like before. In reality, you will always make them much longer, but we are here at a demonstration stand. Then we will neatly take care of that all at once. We are going to place a band iron over it, lying on a construction site, and with my wooden setup, that will be perfectly in order. We are going to carefully tighten the first one. We always screw it very tightly and securely against the edge. But if a chapper or someone else comes, no one is allowed to take those pipes. So that is very important. That everything is securely fastened and remains fastened. What I usually do is, once you have secured the beginning, you then go a little further and secure it again. For example, 20 centimeters apart. This is actually to ensure that the pipe cannot move to the left or right. If someone pushes from behind or something, it should really stay well attached on the collector side. Now I'll show you the screwing here, but we also have those concrete nails for hammering into the concrete. That's actually super handy. No more drilling, no more screwing, you don't need a machine, and you need to hit it three times with a good strike and it's in place. There we have our main pipe. In principle we make them a bit longer, and we can trim them down later. The advantage of the insulation is that, with a nice knife, you can cut it off neatly here. It's a bit easier than a jacket. You can insert a sleeve much faster into the white pipe. And the white exterior of the Alupex is actually our protective sleeve, so that the aluminum does not touch the concrete. Therefore, we always carefully cut the insulation. So if we cut that outer BE layer nicely here, you can actually tear it a little bit as well. Yes, as long as you definitely don't place it in that outer casing. 